Hey everybody, we have an update on Oliver's health today. I know we've left you hanging for a couple weeks since he kind of showed some signs of going backwards, but I think we've got that lined out and we're headed in the right direction again. Um, on April 11th, we started the second round of a new EP EPM medication that we got from the veterinarian. Um, it's still similarly based. It's just got some different um, compounds in it to try to hit it from another angle. Along with that, I was trying an herbal uh, remedy that I got for Bob last year, the Super Equine or Super EPM Dewormer. And I believe after doing some research into it with a expert in the field that it may have actually caused the symptoms that we saw in Oliver two weeks ago when he went backwards and started stumbling again. So in that EPM super dewormer that's supposed to be 100% organic and filler free, there are some um, different types of compounds, thujones, and um, the other one was coumarin that both have neural properties that could be blocking the um, medication that I'm giving from working. And the thujones are actually um, have uh, neurotoxins in them. So I only gave that about three or four days prior to seeing him go backwards and I instantly stopped that supplement and within about a week he stopped stumbling and got better again. Now, with having been on the uh, new medication for eight days now, he is showing a lot of improvement. He's gaining a lot of weight, he's peppy, and he's running and bucking and kicking and wrestling with Colt, and everything's looking good. He got so much better that I have started doing his, some round pin training with him, and we're gonna show you that here in just a minute. And he has um, got a farrier appointment for Friday, so just two days from the time that I'm making this recording. And I'm pretty sure he's healthy enough to go to the farrier and be able to stand. Uh, I've been picking his feet up and making him stand without moving, and his strength is such, and his balance is shut, such that he's able to do that without a problem now. Hey everybody, it is April. Uh, it's Monday, the 17th of April, and today is going to officially be his first day of training. Now, I've played with him and stuff before, and any interaction you have with a horse, you're either training them to do something good or training them to do something bad, but this is a full-fledged training, and uh, the main point will be two things, just to get him to pay attention to me and watch me as a leader, which he already accepts me as his leader, just through our relationship. He already is in love with me, so that's not gonna be a problem. <laughs> You're a sweet boy. But the big problem will be getting him to stand perfectly still while I pick up all four feet, because uh, you know he's a little boy, he has EPM, and he doesn't wanna do that. But we have a farrier appointment coming up, and I wanna put in a few sessions of training him to uh, work. Also, disclaimer, he is a stallion, I'm a little more firm with a stallion than I am a mare, so if I ever give him a spanking, don't get on to me. Of course, if he don't absolutely have to have one, we're gonna train him with love and, uh, and dominion. So with this whip, I don't want him to ever be afraid of this, I, so I'm gonna scratch him with it and make it his, his friend, but it'll be an extension of my arm when I do need to discipline him or send him off if he moves. So the tactic I'm gonna use I'm gonna get him to stand still, pick up his feet. If he moves or fights me at all, I'm gonna send him away and make him work. Um, but first, I may just see if I can get his directions down anyway. Get up, walk. Walk, good boy. Walk, walk. He's already licking and chewing. Walk. Like when he looks at Emery there, I had to crack the whip a little because I want his attention on me. Walk that way. Good. Walk that way. Put a little more pressure on him with my shoulders and my eyes. Walk that Oh, you're so 
sweet. He was giving me signals and giving me his eye and lowering his head that I knew he was going to come to me. <laughs> so since he was submitting, I backed off and relieved pressure. Now I'm going to ask him to back up and I'm going to start really soft and build my pressure because I want him to back up on voice command eventually. Back, back up, back up, back, 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 good. I was just barely lifting enough to lift this brass loop. Back. Back, 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 back up, good, back up, back up, good, back up, back, there, stand still. Now, I'm going to go around and pet all four feet, good boy, and expect him to stand, stand. If he were to walk off right now, I would send him and make him work real hard. Stand still. Good boy. Good boy. Now I'll start with the front feet because they're always easier. Give me your foot. Give me your foot, man. Give me your foot. that little adjustment because he recovered and stood still. Code and that brown. might have been a muscular thing. Same. Code brown, code brown. Here, I'll come over there. <laughs> I maybe mean, should put my overalls on for training feet. I bought those overalls special for all you YouTube guests. Good boy. So I wouldn't be mooning you. <laughs> Oh, that was really good and patient. Yeah. I might just relieve that pressure just a little bit and give him some space because he did so good on that foot. Stand there. Stand there. Yeah, he just, I, was, I told you I'd relieve pressure. He licked and chewed when I did that. Good boy. Now we'll try back foot. Good. That's treat worthy right there. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. I'm gonna take this with me in case he's bad. Good boy. Cool. Stand. Stand. Hey. Stand still. Give me foot. Good job. Good boy. So just from that, I'll just give him a couple minute break so that's a positive experience for him. We'll try again. <laughs> oh, if you want more. <laughs> yeah, that's good training when they're, you leave them wanting more, you know it's good training. Oh, that's a good scratcher spot. Oh, that's a good scratcher spot. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ooh, ooh. Back up. Back. 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 Good. Back. Good. Back. 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 Good boy. That was super soft. That's a good boy. <laughs> That's a good boy. He's looking for his treat. Yeah. Hey. Come. Come here. Come here. Come here. Whoa. Whoa. Stand. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, back up. Back up. Hey. Back up. Back. Back. Good. Good. That was real good. Okay, let me get your foot. Okay, that's good. Hey, you're okay. Stay. Stay there. Good boy. 
Come here, foot. Come here, foot. That's a good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, stand. Stand. Stand still. Come here, foot. Maggie, no. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Stand down. Good boy. Stand. Oh. Oh. Stand still. Oh. Oh. You gotta let them know that they're on. Hey. Stand still. Come here. Put him back where he was. Now stand. Good boy. Easy. Good boy. Let me put it. Cool. What? That's cool. Yeah, we're going to be chewing. Boy, can you back up again? Back. 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 Good boy. Back. Good boy. Back. 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 Good. Back. Back. Good. Back. Back. Yeah, foot. Good boy. Yeah, that's a big old foot, bud. Nearly as big as the Dixie plate. Give me this one. Good boy. Hey, 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 stand. Oh, good boy. He wanted to be bad and he saved himself. That was good. Good release, that too. Good boy. All right, that's pretty uneventful, but for a first training, that's really <laughs> probably enough because he's young and he doesn't have a long attention span. And I uh, want to end on a good note. He's obviously still happy. Oh, I'm sorry. I let that happen. I let that happen, I'm sorry. He's obviously still happy with me because he's following me out and looking and chewing still. Back up. Back up, back, back, good. He's getting soft with that, so that's a good sign. Let's go see Colt, we'll put him up with Colt. <laughs> then I'll get his medicine mixed up for the night. Oh, end of training session treat. There you go. So if you don't know who Colt is yet, um, Colt is Oliver's little buddy. Uh, he stays with Oliver 24 seven now. Uh, we got Colt this winter um, and he is, he's not even a year old yet. He's, he's probably about 10 or 11 months old. Uh, he's a miniature horse. We had gotten Colt with the intention of keeping him with our other mini horse, Daisy, but he is an escape artist and we had to figure something else out with him for the time being. So we put him in with Oliver and we were a little worried at first that it wouldn't work, but it seems to be working out really well and they wrestle and play all day and seem to be really good friends. We would like to say thank you really quickly um, for some of the Amazon wish list gifts that have been sent to us. Uh, these are horse measuring tapes, which will be really convenient and make measuring the horses a lot easier. Um, and these are from Christina. So thank you so much, Christina. 
We also got some Cowboy Magic Shampoo and Conditioner. We've never tried this. This is new to us, and um, we're excited to see how it works. And this is from Lanin, so thank you so much, Lanin. And then we got two more hooks for um, tack, to hang tack on, and these are from Christina, and we really appreciate it, Christina. Uh, we're going to hang these on the outside of our tack room, and they will come in handy. And Corrine got us these awesome Colt starting DVDs. Um, they're Clinton Anderson, and JR and Becca have been wanting to watch these for a while, so we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. A fan from our channel got us two more Quest Plus dewormers. These are awesome. And then Dina got us two more Quest Plus dewormers, and we can never have enough of these around our homestead. So thank you so much, Dina. And Bonnie from our Patreon got us some more vitamin B1 crumbles and a box of potato chips for us to snack on. So we really appreciate it, Bonnie. Thank you for being so thoughtful. And then our sheep friends actually got a gift. They got some more baking soda um, to keep them from bloating. They eat it. Um, and then we also got another hose hook um, for all the hoses that we water the horses with. And these are from Christina. Thank you so and much. And then Amazon did not send a note with this, um, with this hose reel. So we don't know who it came from, but we really appreciate it. Um, this makes watering um, and washing the horses uh, so much easier, just winding it up really quickly. Uh, so whoever sent this, thank you so much. And then I hadn't unboxed this yet, but this is a big fan. And again, there is no note, so I cannot say who it is from, but um, whoever sent this, we really appreciate it. It's going to be put to use <laughs> um, in the next couple of weeks as it warms up. If you'd like to check out our Amazon wish list um, and support Homestead Horsemanship that way, our channel, Oliver, and our other horses, you can find the link in the description of the video. We're going to try to keep doing personal shout outs um, for every gift we receive. Um, so make sure to add your name and hopefully Amazon will add it to your gift and we can say thank you. Uh, if you don't hear your name mentioned but you see your gift, please comment and uh, let us know it's from you. We're pretty excited Oliver is feeling well enough to start his training um, and it's definitely going to be taken slow and it'll just be some ground manners at first um, and then we'll see how he handles that and go from there. Um, one step at a time, day by day for this guy. We're going to be making quite a few different videos in the next couple weeks of Oliver. We'll probably have some more training videos coming out. And Tuesday, April 25th is Oliver's second birthday. And then coming up um, in just a couple weeks, we have Oliver's vet appointment um, and chiropractor appointment. And then we're also going to the National Clydesdale Sale in Springfield, Illinois. Um, and that will be pretty exciting. Oliver won't be there, but it is kind of about him and it's about his breed and we're going to go check it out. So if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel um, and turn on your notifications. And if you can give these two little ornery <laughs> boys a thumbs up, we really would appreciate it. And don't forget um, to check out our Patreon account. Uh, I think you would really love it. So we'll talk to you later. God bless every one of you. Uh, and thank you for all your support.